Hey everyone, Sodark Leader 635 here. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you how to reassemble a toy motor. Alright? These motors are the ones that the toy that the toys use. Um they have a lot of different sizes because this one well this one's not from a toy, but this one's from a CD player, from a dancing plush toy, uh vintage toys motor, this one I don't know, this one's from the fan of a computer, this one's are from a helicopter toy m m motors, this one, this one's just the inner part of a normal one, uh, Zodox motor, yeah, now I'll show you the inside of a Zodox motor, this is, if you get a robot commander second, also called, also called Zodox, you will find this, alright, this motor, Yep. All right. Here is the parts that we need. Um, now, this one's only as a display. This one's the the one that does not have any magnets inside. So we just put them there. Now, here comes the good part. Um, let me see how can I put the camera. Now, this see uh, actually is the front part. Yeah. This is the finished one, which you can see it has a blue and a white one, and a white magnet. The blue one comes at the left, and the white one comes at the right. Uh, if you see, if you see it from like here, here's the upper part. Well, if you see like this, uh, blue left, white right. So we'll just go with this one. Uh, this is the white one, so it will go to the right, like that. Now, the blue one, there you go. Now, for letting this one secure and none moving again, we'll have this small hook that we'll just play, oh, fuck. We'll put on the upper part, see, this should be, this is the lower part, well, the upper part, at the upper part we have this. This is a small hook, which we will place like that, alright? Now, with help of a flat screwdriver, we just pull, um, push it to the inside, see, like that. So now, uh, the front part is finished, alright? Now we proceed with the motor's back part, all right? The back part is this small part. See, it's got like some small cracks there. Not cracks, they look like slots. Well, this is slots. We just put this part here. Yeah, I'll show sure you. There we go. See, like that. Uh, now we put the other one, the other copper piece. We have to um, slide it inside like that. See? Now this, uh, well, it's a, it's a hybrid because this, the um, left one is not the same as the right one, but it works anyway, right? Now here is the other part, which is the. Um, the back, the plastic, all right? This is what holds the inner part, which is the bovine, and the little part. Well, this part, see, that looks like if you just give it the turn, you will not see the copper piece as well. The, this will go at the front, like that, right? Just have to slide in there, and this is how it goes. Now, um, I'll just get a normal, yeah, this one. This one is a normal bovine, which we will first of all, oh, sorry, uh, just like that. There we go. We'll just place in here, all right? Now, there is a thing that you guys have to know, yeah, that it's that this piece goes at the back, all right, and this goes at the front, so we actually put it like that. And this is how it goes. Um, then we have to see. This is the part down, so you actually have to put it like that. And then this is one of the pieces, one of the parts that everyone has the mistake. 
between the two copper parts, we have to, let me just get a bit on the side, we have to slide this, all right? So that each part touches its, each side of the inner part. Now we just place everything there. Let me just put this one. This, this one's tin is kind of small. There we go. There we go. Now, if you hear this noise, means that it's good. Now, for the final test, see, we will use a two dollar batteries pack. So let's go. And for the people that does not believe, this one is the actual motor. I'll just um, leave, the, leave the motor here, yeah, and I'll be right back with a piece for you guys to see. This is the actual motor, and that I actually made a successful repair. <laughs> here you go. All right. I will get this wheel is from Feng Yuan Toys Robot, <clears throat> so I'll just get it like that, so you guys will see that it shapes. Amazing! Alright? So, yeah, this is the motor, the kind of motor that this one and a lot of my robot toys take. Alright? So, yeah, if you have any question, any, um, any, <coughs> any comments, I don't know, anything you want to say about this video, also forgot to say, well, uh, I'll finish with the thing I was saying. Just put it in the comments, all right? But if you have a squeaky motor, I mean, if the motor makes like a <coughs> noise, something like that, you have to get some WD-40 or some grease between... Uh, let me just get this thing out. You have to get some grease between these two contacts. Then you, you just take it all back together. Or you can put some WD-40 from the outside so it enters the motor. So yeah, any other question, any thing like any other comments? Now, if it if you just do the same perfect thing that I do, all right, and it doesn't work, it's because this inner part is burned, all right. Also, um, you have to make sure these two copper parts are touching the metallic back, all right? Because if, he, if you, I don't know, if it's pretty folded and one of both does not touch that back part, it won't work, okay? So yeah, that was all the stuff. Thank you for watching and bye.